uh, veloute is fancy for chicken gravy. Uh, traditionally, veloute is made with white stock. And as mentioned in another video, white stock traditionally is made with lamb bone, or not lamb bones, veal bones, but we're not doing that. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna use chicken stock. That is a acceptable practice in modern day culinary kitchens to use chicken, fish, um, and even in Le Guy Culinaire, he talks about the different veloutes. You can have a fish veloute, chicken veloute, um, veal veloute, so lots of different. So I'm making a blonde roux again, and equal parts butter and flour, whole butter. You can use clarified, but for this, I don't think it really makes a difference. If you're making something like hollandaise, it does make a difference. So we're just gonna cook and toast the proteins here, or not the proteins, toast the carbos a little bit so they don't taste floury. And then we're gonna mix in our chicken stock and then we're gonna whisk it together, bring it to a simmer, make sure it's the thickness that we like, then we season it and done. So I've got my roux cooked. It's a little farther than I want it, but that's okay. It'll still taste good. We're gonna throw in our stock here. And I have to admit that stock is from a base. And we're just gonna saute this, saute it, oh my goodness. Simmer it until it thickens up. And that's it, simmer, season, and you've got glute. It's one of the easiest sauces. So I finished simmering the glute, brought it to a simmer. The thing about mother sauces is they're often thinner than people think they should be. And the reason why is because they're all designed to be made into other sauces. You can use them the way they are and they're delicious. If that's the case, you can do one of two things. This has got a nice texture to it, coats the back of the spoon nicely. But if you want it thicker than that for like a real true gravy texture, you can do one of two things. You can up the roux, just put a little bit more roux in there, or you can simmer it. The thing about, the thing about um, a flour roux is that the starch will maintain its integrity for quite a while while cooking. And so you can simmer it down to the consistency you like. And all that's gonna do is concentrate your flavor. One thing I haven't talked about with the sauce, this sauce is seasoning. Season at the end with these sauces. The reason that's really important is because say you're using a base uh, to make your stock, so you didn't make stock in house, um, that's gonna be real salty. And when you reduce that, it's going to, the saltiness is just gonna increase, increase, increase. So don't, I'd never season my mother sauces until the very end. And then depending what I'm using for, I might not season them at all. Like if I'm doing a bechamel and I'm making that for Alfredo sauce or Mornay sauce, which are cheese sauces, I won't even season them at all because the cheese will be really salty and it'll add a lot of flavor, which I'll talk about in the bechamel video. So there we go.